by the hand of the almighty God every wound and every pain that the devil has caused you may you be restored today amen May you be restored today. Amen. May your head be restored. Amen. Whatever damages that devil has caused against your head, whatever pains, though that the devil has broken your heart, devil has used men, devil has used person, people, circumstances to cause pain in your heart. You are going to receive restoration today. Amen. I say you are receiving restoration today. Amen. Say my father, my father. Say my father, my father. Restore my need today. Restore my pain today. Restore my heart today. Restore me from pains, restore me from wound, restore me from the afflictions, afflictions, afflictions of my life. Father, restore me, restore me. Somebody begin to pray. We are going to talk this prayer gradually, gradually. Now we are dealing with health, every pain, whatever they were cause in your health, in your body, begin to command restore. Restoration, 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 pray for restoration, 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 those who are wounded, those who have heart pain, those who have pain in your heart, those who have heart have been sick, the Bible says, anxiety in my heart, he will him down, that means, he time your heart is sick, Sick. Everything about you is sick. Everything that surrounded you is sick. Begin to declare restoration. 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 May your heart be restored today. May your heart be restored today. May your heart be restored today. Every wound, every wound, every pain in your heart, every pain in your life. Today. Today. Replace with joy. 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 You are healed. You are restored. Raka tala presentia. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody will begin to experience joy of the Lord. Amen. Somebody will begin to experience peace of the Lord. Amen. Somebody will begin to marry in their heart. Amen. Your heart will not seek again. Amen. That thing that is causing you pain. That thing that is seeking your heart. That thing that is making your heart to drop down every day. That thing that is causing depressions in your life. That thing that is causing and weighing you down. In your daily life, today you are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. Is it an expectation that refused to come to pass? God is making them to come to pass as you enter this week. Amen. Is it a prayer that you have been praying, crying, and you have done all that you could, and yet they have not been answered? I speak as a prophet. Lord, may your children, may they experience the answer this week. Amen. May you receive the answer this week. Amen. May you receive the answer this week. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, I decree upon their life. The Bible says afflictions will not rise again. Amen. It utterly cast down. Amen. Devil will not give you pain again. Amen. Devil will not send people to give you pain in your life again. Amen. Devil will not bring anything that will cause you pain again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer number two. We're going to pray in 2 chapter 225. He said, the Lord shall restore to you the year that the worms have eaten. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are people here, you have wasted many months and many years. Amen. Amen. You have wasted many years. 
you have wasted time. Why? Because things did not work out the way expected. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now look at it. According to the nature, nature does not waste time. Because we are marching forward every day. We are going. You cannot see yesterday anymore again. You can so when you waste today, when today is wasted, it is wasted. Is somebody hearing me? Yes, sir. But the Bible says, it said, the Lord shall restore unto you the years. The years. The wasted years. Wasted business. Wasted opportunity. Wasted connections and contacts. Hallelujah. Amen. When I look at some people's life, nobody will tell you that you are not toiling. You know you are toiling, you are struggling. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes you work, you labor, but not what you labor for. That's what you get. I think the book of Proverbs 23, verse 3 or verse 2. He said, labor not to be what? To be rich. Meaning that riches does not determine how big you labor. Hallelujah. Amen. In fact, those who are rich, there are people that you are poor, but you labor more than them. Is it true or not? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. But I'm here to announce to you, there's going to be a total restoration. Amen. All your wasted years are going to be restored today. Amen. All your wasted effort are going to be restored today. Amen. Anything that the devil has taken from you, anything the enemy have taken from you, all the days of labor and struggle, God is remembering you today. Amen. God is remembering you today. Amen. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father, restore back my wasted years. Restore back my wasted, restore years. Back my wasted time. Restore back, my, restore wasted back time. my wasted season. Restore back, restore back all my finances. Restore back all, my finances. all opportunities. Restore back Whatever all my I have lost, Father, restore them back. Lord, I am here. Restore them back. Restore all my finance. Restore opportunities. Restore my years that the devil have devoured. Your crop and plant that the devil have devoured. Begin to declare right now. There is going to be a massive restoration. There is going to be a massive restoration in somebody's life. There is going to be a massive, a massive restoration, a massive restoration, a massive restoration, restoration of business, restoration of finance. There are people here who have wasted a lot of money, even to invest in business and yet the money everything just disappear there are people here you have got an opportunity but suddenly the opportunity disappear there are people here you had a connection that's supposed to lift you higher a connection that's supposed to bring promotion but right now you have lost that connection but as you are here today receiving back Make you restore back to you. Make you restore back to you. Make you restore back to you. That connection, that relationship, that contact, that opportunity. Receive them back. 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 Allah. Restoration, 
all the connections, all the opportunities, all the contact, whatever you have lost, whatever you have lost, whatever devil have disappeared from you. The Bible says in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10, it comes to steal, it comes to kill, it comes to destroy, it comes to pray. The Lord is restoring your relationship. God is restoring your marriage. God is restoring your finance. God is restoring, is restoring all that you have lost. Oh, that is born out of you. Receive restoration. Receive restoration. Receive restoration. Receive the bank. Receive the bank. Receive the money bank. Receive the opportunity bank. Receive the bank. Have them back. Receive them back. Receive them back. Receive it. It belongs to you. It belongs to you. It belongs to you. Receive the bank. Receive the bank. Receive the bank. Ratolibra, Rakakute, Zendelebrosa, Yamatule, Zendelebrosa, Rakote, Ratolibra, Zendelebrosa, Sandia, Rakate, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, I recover my finance, I recover my yes, the strength of the Lord, receive it back, I recover my health, I recover back. my joy, Have them I recover. Back. Have them back. I risk whatever you have lost in thy name of Jesus. Whatever you have lost in peace, I have lost. Whatever, whatever you are lost, I'm taking from me. Whatever you are lost, I recover them. Come I back, recover you them. have lost in thy name of Jesus. Whatever you have lost, I power and authority on that. Whatever you have lost, I recover them. Whatever you have lost, whatever you have lost, I recover them. Back, I recover them. I recover them. Whatever that belongs to you, that the devil has snatched from you, anything that is for you, every glory that the devil has tempered here, every virtue that the devil has tempered here, every destiny that the devil has tempered here, oh Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the covenant keeping God, the God who keep his promises from everlasting to everlasting. Let there be total restoration. Amen. Let there be total restoration. Amen. God is bringing restoration again. Amen. Psalm 126. He said, When the Lord remember the captivity of Zion, when the Lord brings back restoration upon the life. When the Lord bring back the promises, the blessings, when the Lord bring back all that he has given to them, he said like they were them that were dreaming. They were like them that are dreaming. I decree, I declare, Father, oh God, let their days be restored. Amen. Restore back unto them what they have lost. Amen. Any good thing that you have lost as you enter this week, you will begin to experience them back. Amen. You will begin to have them back. Amen. You will begin to have them back. Amen. Every loan that is not approved will be approved again. Amen. Every document that is not approved will be approved again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. All the properties that you have lost, may this new week be a week of total restoration. Amen. Total recovery. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayer number three. 
In Jeremiah 15, 21, he said, I will deliver you out of the hand of the wicked. And he said, I will redeem you from the hand of the terrible. I will redeem you. Redeem mean to reclaim you, to claim you. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember the wicked spirit come to steal and to kill and to destroy you. But the Lord said, I will deliver you. And because you have entered into their hand, that is why the devil is devouring you. Because your finance enter into the hand of the devil, that's why the devil is devouring your finance. Hallelujah. There are people here, it's not that you are not getting money, but you can't get one single savings in your account. Amen. That is devourer. That is devourer. Some of you people, you get money before the money comes, uh, before the income comes, uh, or before even though for business, uh, before income comes, problem has lined up. Yes. Hallelujah. The problem that we swallow it. Praise the Lord. He said, the Lord will deliver you out of the hand of the wicked. And he will reclaim you. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Deliver me from the hand of the wicked. Deliver me from the hands of Deliver my finance from the hand of the wicked. Deliver my finance from the Deliver my life from the hand of the wicked. Deliver my life. Somebody begin to pray right now. My father, my father. Begin to pray, begin to pray. The devil want to use trouble. The devil want to use circumstances. The devil want to use one thing on the other. In order to devour you. In order to afflict you in order to reduce you in order to bring you down in order to frustrate you oh god we frustrate every agenda of the devil deliver your people from the hand of their foes from the hand of the enemy deliver your people deliver them lord lord deliver them deliver your people deliver them deliver them from the hand of the enemy enemies behind of the enemies behind of the devourers behind of the wicked spirit wicked power oh lord deliver us deliver us from trouble every trouble before you every trouble before you every trouble before you may the lord set you free may the lord deliver you may the lord redeem you again jesus said i have come and to redeem you you have been redeemed. Everything that concerns you have been redeemed. Rock of the oppression, the labrosa. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. May the Lord set you free. Amen. May the devil not get any entrance or gain any entrance in you anymore. Amen. You are covered with wall of fire. Amen. Father, I decree and I declare. That the devil will not devote them. Anymore. Amen. Devil, you will not devote their finances. Anymore. Amen. From today henceforward, you shall begin to make progress. Amen. You shall begin to prosper. Amen. And remain prosperous. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Nahum chapter 1, verse 9. Affliction will not rise again. Amen. The devourer will not come again. Amen. You will not go backwardness anymore again. Amen. You will not fail again. Amen. You will not struggle again. Amen. Trouble will be far from you. Amen. From now henceforth. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your hands. Whatever you lay your hand, as you lift it up unto God, say, Lord, hold my hand. Lord, hold my hand. Lord, uphold my hand. Lord, uphold, uphold, uphold my hand. Uphold my hand. Uphold my hand. Uphold my hand. From today, I decree and declare upon your life, as many that lifted up your hands, the angel of the Lord is holding their hands right now. It's a hand of lifting. It's a hand of lifting. Somebody is being lifted from that situation. You are lifted from struggle. You are lifted above your enemies. You are lifted above every divination. You are lifted above poverty today. Amen. God is raising you up. Amen. God is raising you up. Amen. As that hand is lifted, anything you place your hand from now henceforth, 
you shall prosper. Amen. You shall succeed. Amen. You shall succeed. Amen. You shall make success. Amen. You shall make success. Amen. You shall prosper. Amen. You will not lack anymore again. Amen. You will not lack anymore again. Amen. You will not lack anymore again. Amen. You will not fail again. Amen. You will not be reproached anymore again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I know you have restored them fully. Amen. They are fully loaded. Amen. They are fully blessed. Amen. They carry your presence. Amen. They carry prosperity. Amen. They carry the spirit that attracts favor. Now, henceforth, anywhere you go, you are favored. Amen. Anywhere you go, you are favored. Amen. <laughs> Anywhere you see yourself, you are favored. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare. Amen. Put your hands together for Master Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. <laughs>